This is the tale of the little laptop that could. Once upon a time, the cheap laptops were bulky and the thin laptops were expensive. Then the Asus EEE PC came to market. It was light and cheap, but its keyboard was too small and its name was hard to pronounce. But now Asus has revamped the EEE line. And as the AP's Peter Svensson found out, it's just about right. I tested two new EEE PCs with 10 inch screens because these have a keyboard that's big enough for an adult touch typist like myself. There's also a 9 inch EEE PC out now, but it has the same very small keyboard that the original 7 inch EEE PCs had. I found these new models to be a tremendous value. The Windows version is $550 which is less than three times uh, the cost of a comparable ultra-portable laptop like the MacBook Air or the Lenovo X300. I also looked at a Linux version that's at $700, and uh, the price increase here is because it has a solid-state disk. That is, it doesn't have a spinning hard drive. It has a bunch of memory chips that store your data. And uh, these are expensive. Um, but they may give you a bit longer battery life and they should be uh, more durable than a hard drive. All in all though, I like the uh, Windows version best because of the range of software that will work on it and uh, its familiarity. Uh, Linux was a bit sluggish in operation, I found, and to do more advanced things with it, you'll need to get in and mess with typed command lines. These uh, have great features, uh, especially if you compare it to the very stripped down MacBook Air. Each has three USB ports, uh, an Ethernet port, uh, they have a webcam. Th these are basically like, have the features of a full-size laptop, but they're much smaller. And uh, best of all, they weigh about three pounds each. That's the same weight as the MacBook Air, which costs uh, about $1,800 to start. Battery life, very good. Uh, more than uh, four and a half hours on the Windows version and uh, five hours and 15 minutes on the Linux version. Excellent results indeed. And uh, this may be partly due to the processors. Uh, these are some of the first laptops to use Intel's new Atom processor, a tiny, tiny processor designed for just this sort of application. For AP, I'm Peter Svensson.